Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 20th of June 2025. I hope you are keeping well, enjoying life as best you possibly can. Uh, those Some people may not know uh, about the British parliamentary system and how it operates, but I mean, basically, uh, the government often has to go around bullying its backbenchers into supporting it. <laughs> and that's, that's true of both the major parties. Uh, who are, one of whom is in power at either time. And uh, generally speaking, the, the the whips, who are the people who do this bullying, uh, are generally <laughs> uh, willing to do any kind of job like that because it, you know, gets them, it curries favour, right? It puts them in a good position later for promotion, etc., hoping to get a cabinet seat at some point or another. Um, but <laughs> sometimes... The job of bullying someone into voting something so awful uh, is too much for them. They have to resign. That's the case for uh, Labour MP Vicky, Vicky Foxcroft, who is a government whip, who has resigned as a whip. I'm not resigned as MP, of course, resigned as a whip uh, because she can't support the government's upcoming bill where they want to uh, enforce the disability cuts. Um, quite right, too. Um, so somebody's got a conscience, at least. Um, Labour really messing things up when it comes to uh, social security uh, in the UK. Anyway, we'll see what happens there. So she's resigned. Uh, so uh, she won't be in the government's good. She won't be in Keir Starmer's good books. That's for sure. Right. Let's start with uh, digit one. What, what game am I playing? This is uh, the third game of the day. I'm getting in before I head off out for work this afternoon. This is the. Uh, Los Angeles Times expert level puzzle as you knew because you clicked on the link didn't you unless you arrived here accidentally spookily without clicking on a link that would be weird We've got eight up here and eight across there. Eight this way up there and it looks like we're going to get an eight in the middle. Yep, there we go. Well, I see one's blocking those three squares, so that means we have one down here. Does that do anything for us? Uh, well, we've got ones in those squares, so that means we have one blocking down here, blocking up here, blocking across there, blocking across there. Indeed, it does. It means one is in that square there. And in fact, one and eight here, one and eight there, that gives us a pair of one and eight down here. Uh, which means that these squares are not 1 or 8, they are 3, 6, 9, and guess what? 3 and 6 are nicely together, so that will give us a 9 there. Five blocks across this row and this row, so that's a 5. Uh, I think we've got five down here. Let me just explore it with you. Bear with me. Five's blocking like this. So five's in one of those squares blocking across. The five from up on high will give us five in that square there. Yep. And five up, five down, and five across there means that that's a five. And five across here, across there, and down there gives us five in that square. And five down here, down there, across there says five is finished. Yes, five is finished. Sorry, digit five, you've just had enough of it.
I see twos blocking like this. This is not going to give me a number, but just something I noticed. So that means we've got two somewhere there. Ah, okay, so two in one of those three squares blocking up here, two across here. So two must be in one of those squares blocking down and a two across there. That will give me a two there. Certainly will. Two up here, two across there. There's a two, two across here, across there. There's a two. More than I expected. Oh, there's one number missing here. What are you? You're a one. Hmm. Three blocking this square. This three taking care of those three squares there. So in that row, there's our three. Three blocking up there. There's a three. Three up here puts three into one of those two squares blocking across there. That must be the three there then. Three blocking down, three across there. There's a three. Three down here, down there. Seven blocks up there that puts seven into that square gives me a six here. Six and seven down there. This is one and eight, isn't it? I know that already. So what's left here? Two, what did I say? Six and seven here. One, eight there. This is two and nine. So we've got the nine across there. That would be the nine and, oops, nine. And this would be the two. Uh, seven across here and down here. So seven is in one of these two squares, meaning that square can't be seven. This square can't be seven. Seven blocking there, obviously. So that must be the seven in that row. So seven and eight across here, seven and eight down here. This is a pair of seven and eight. Uh, so what else do we have? Um, one, six, two, nine. Ah, this is, I just said 7 and 8, didn't I? So 2 blocking down here, 2 blocking down here, that's a 2 then. And 2 and 4 here, 2 and 4 here, so that's a pair of 2 and 4 there. And in fact, we've got the blocking 2 there, so there's the 2, there's the 4. Uh, where to now? What 
what's this? One and six, is it? Okay, so if this is six, it means that six is in one of these two squares here, blocking across, six blocking down here. That has to be the six. Six down here, down there, there goes a six. Six across there, there's a six. This is a four. Last number here is a three. Three going upwards. There you go. Two, three, and five are finished. Let's click on the digits, see if we can find anything. One blocking up here and across there, so that's a one. Looks like we're looking for fours and nines in various places, I think. Let's see, we've got 9 blocking this square here, so in this row there's a 9, oops, that's a 4, that's going to be a 4, 4 blocking down here puts 4 there, and that's the 9. Okay, 9 blocking down here and across there gives me 9 in that square, and to finish this column a 1 will do, 1 across here, 1 down there, there's our 1, the missing digit down here is 8, 8 across here, there's an 8, Last number to get there, seven. Seven across here, here's the seven. This is a six. I think this game is over. Oh, mouse. Mouse has lost. Mouse has lost power. I'm going to have to change the battery. <laughs> uh, I did get a warning before. I must admit, I did get a warning previously about low battery power and I ignored it there we are never make a video with mouse with low mousing battery charge am I back I am back okay there's only a little bit more to go I was about to say this game's been very easy and it clearly has been six there even even including changing mouse uh, ch changing mouse batteries is uh, not going to cause a great delay in this is it uh, let's see what are we looking for here we need a digit four can we get four yes we can four up four down there's a four in that square we're looking for six where's a six can we can we not sure we're looking for seven seven blocks up there that gives me seven in that square oops come on seven up seven up there there's our seven uh, we're looking for a six in that square then, so six up there, there's the six and a nine. We'll finish the game, so a, a very straightforward game there. Um, and thank you very much. I will uh, see you again another time. Uh, if you're bored, go back and play the old games on the channel. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for hitting the like button and all that stuff. Cheers. Bye-bye.